Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be photographing some clothes. Um, I've just had a small job lot in. This is a Ralph Lauren shirt for man. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how I do it. So first photograph is the front of it. Then I do like the shoulders and collar and then I will turn it. Do the side, turn again and do the back of it. Turn again and do the other side, get the arm in and then just do a photograph of the cuff and then take it off and I'll just pop it on there and I'll do the label and then also the label that's inside the item which appears to be missing on this one so that's okay I mean There is a size on there, the size is on there and it's probably a polyester cotton, so that's fine. So then we will do, I have 100% lambs wool jumper here, came in the job lot, so I'll pop that in. I know this is female mannequin, but I still do, I don't have another one, I just do the whole lot on here. So then again we do exactly the same, front, neck and shoulders. This room is nice and bright, as I've said before, make sure that your photos are well lit up. Take that and I take the other side as well because it will tell you exactly this is 100% pure new wool, pure lane verge. That just tells you. Some people want to know exactly what it's made of. This jacket, that's quite a good one again. So it's exactly the same process and I do that whether it's women's clothes, men's clothes. If it's little kiddies clothes I tend to hang just on the door. So just try and also make it look nice. And then we'll just do the same again, really. You use whatever you have. I use an iPad. My eyes are not so good now, so I find it much easier with the iPad because it's bigger. It doesn't matter what you have, you just use whatever you have. Try and take as many as you can because you get the free... Actually, this has got a mark. I may wash this one. You get free 12 photos. Okay, and we just take... Oh. there just to say what it is okay so I have a ladies beaded top Again, same process. We do the front 
Um, because this has got beads on it, I'll just do a close up of the beads just so they can see exactly what's on there. One of the side. One of the back. And this has got a hook. <coughs> Excuse me, this has got a hook, so I'll just take so they can see that there that there's a hook there. And then one of that side. on the ladies top that one says dry clean only so I will take that uh, and then I have a lovely next blazer I'll button it up so you can see And then I'll take one down there because this has got pockets. And then again, it's the side. I'm just going to show on the cuff there that there's buttons. And I do the back. And then we we'll take off and do the labels. And then the blazer. This is a nice one. Next tailoring and then the label. I'll just try and get a nice big picture of the label. It's no good if it's tiny, <laughs> people can't see it very well. And then I just take that because that's what it's made of. Now, in this case, because it's a blazer and it's lined, I will just show the lining as well because in some cases, blazers and uh, jackets can split at the armpit. So it just shows that actually the lining is okay. So we'll just take that. So I hope that this has helped you if you are reselling on eBay or thinking about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If there's anything you'd like to know, please contact me and I'll try and help. So for me and the mannequin, bye bye for now.